So you started this fitness journey and you're wondering, is this gonna be sustainable? The first thing I'm gonna tell you is that there's always gonna be ups and downs and you're always going to fail. But the key to anything that you do in life is to always fail forward. And so in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you're gonna be able to make this fitness thing work for you long-term. Now, if you're looking for great coaching, you're looking to join our community of like-minded people, and you're looking just to feel good, even if it's 30 minutes a day, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit. Now, one of the first conversations I have when people hit certain milestones is I ask them, when you first started your membership, you probably all thought that it was too expensive. And so people tell me about the value that they have and how do they make the payments work. And so when it comes to anything that you purchase, and whenever I make a big purchase, I always think, okay, if this thing is gonna cost me $300, I look at the thing like, how many uses would it take in order for me to get the value out of this thing that I just bought? Now, when it comes to Fit Club, we have some members that do two workouts in the morning, two workouts in the mid-morning, and two workouts in the evening. Now, I'm not saying for you to get results that you have to work out that much. But to spend three hours, just like I spend two hours almost every single day playing tennis, at a place that helps you to release happy hormones and to be getting high fives with other people, getting compliments from the coaches and making permanent changes to your body, going like six times a day or three hours per day, five days a week, it doesn't seem that crazy right? Because you want to do the things that make you feel good. And to a lot of people doing multiple workouts throughout the day is what makes them feel good. Now that if you're just getting into this and you're not a current member of Fit Club, that seems ludicrous to you. And I would tell you that even if you just came once a day, five days a week, that the outcome that you're going to feel after you utilize that workout is going to be that of like going to a favorite artist that you went to or going on a trip. It's that kind of endorphin high that you're gonna feel. But my challenge to you is that you look at it, okay, if I have 365 days to work out or 52 weeks times five, what does that work out to be per workout if I come five days a week and make this a part of my daily routine? And you'll see it's super cheap, right? But the key is that you have to show up. Okay. Now our job is to make it so that you want to show up. Okay. At Fit Club, we make it a standpoint that the workouts are fun, exciting, entertaining, but most importantly, that we're going to get you results. And so when it comes to expenses, break it down into how many times you're going to use it over the course of whatever time frame that you paid for. So if you did the 52 week plan that we have, then how many workouts will you make yourself go to? so that you're actually getting that dollar value. And if you look at the dollar value, if you went 52 weeks times five, you're looking at bare minimum costs. And between you and I, I've spent six, $7 on just a Starbucks drink that makes me feel good for 10 minutes. Then it's gone, I'm like, oh, why did I just drink that much sugar? And I feel like I had a bunch of empty calories and it doesn't bring me any closer to my goals. When you come to the gym, it's putting deposits into your personal bank of feeling good, filling your cup, and ultimately driving you closer to whatever lifestyle goals that you want to accomplish. Now, what about getting up first thing in the morning? This is a challenge that I see a lot of people face, and I commend a lot of people for working out first thing in the morning, because for some people, it's a matter of they have to, right? They have to get up and they have to work out before the kids get up or before the family gets up or before they go to work, because what ends up happening is that time, is their time, right? And it's the only time when nobody's poking at them. But as soon as the world wakes up, they're busy from start a day to end a day and there's no other time. So for some people, avoiding hitting the snooze button and showing up is mandatory because if they don't, then they don't get their own personal time and all they do is give, give, give and their cup gets super empty, super quick. So when it comes to hitting that snooze button, the thing I would tell you is have a have. You have to get up and you have to do this, otherwise your day isn't the same. For other people, there is no snooze button. My recommendation is just to get your ass out of bed. Okay, so as soon as that alarm goes off, get up, get out of bed and just get to it. And as soon as you do that, the faster you go from bed to the gym, 
the less likely you're gonna sleep in and your body becomes conditioned to being alert at that certain time of hour. So if you're getting up at five in the morning every single day to make that 540 workout, your body will get into a biological clock that automatically, as soon as 5 a.m. hits, you'll start to wake up. Try it, do for 21 days. Go to the same workout time, first thing in the morning, get up, get out of bed, get right into excitement mode, and you're gonna see that after 21 days of building this new habit, it's going to be automatic for you moving forward. So that snooze button won't even become a factor. Now, when people start to join, and they see the most and they're being attentive, they're consistent with their workouts, then they try our program, which is the Belly Burn program. Now for me, it's an opportunity for us, you and I, if you're one of my Belly Burn clients, to connect on a deeper level, right? It's a point where we'll be able to tackle a lot of the problems that we face with nutrition. Today, we're doing an all liquids day, right? And so the thing that I reached out and told people is we don't understand why we do a lot of these things. Why is it that we go high protein? Why do we try keto? Why do we go low carb? Why do we do carb timing? Why do you do intermittent fasting? Now, when you get into this belly burn program, we actually give you the type of eating program that we know is going to work for you so that you don't ever really feel like a diet. But if you're on a diet, which today is a liquid only diet, and that for me is very tough because I like to eat my food versus drinking my food. And so what ends up happening is I have to give you the reasoning why, and it needs to happen today. Because why? You're busy. You don't want to go and do the research as to why we would even attempt a liquid diet. But the reasoning behind this liquid diet, and it's a one day only, is because yesterday we had one big meal, and then we did intermittent fasting, and then this morning we broke our fast with a liquid high protein shake that has a ton of greens. Then we did a double protein shake and now we're on to more of these hearty filled smoothies, which in my opinion works really well for most people on their very busy days. In fact, a lot of women that I work with in the belly burn, their days are so busy that they don't really have time to eat. And so generally between Monday and Friday, they lose about a pound to even a pound a half every single day. But as soon as Saturday hits, we no longer have the busyness of an eight hour workday and we have more freedom to sit down and eat and then we tend to overeat and most of our weight gain happens on the weekends. And so this liquid diet is a great way to nourish your body and it's a great way to for you to get calories in you so that you're not just like low calorie one day and then when you hit the weekend, we go on this huge calorie spike and we gain back everything that we lost during the weekday, week, weekday. And then it's also a great way for your body to flush because there's no processing time or there's little processing time between the calorie and it turning into nutrients. And so this is the things that when you get a belly burn coach, they're going to be able to specifically make it and design it for you, but they're also going to be able to support you through it and help you to understand why we're doing this. And so you, if you're thinking about joining and you're not currently a member, but you've been watching a lot of these videos, I would say, don't even worry about the rest. The first thing that you need to do is just get your mindset into, I want to just try it out. And that's what I would recommend to you. And if you're a member, just tell your friends to just try it out. We do five days for five bucks. You don't have to come every single day. You could come once, twice, or three times in that matter of five day span. My recommendation is to try to go for five full workouts. Don't worry, the coaches are going to be able to guide you and modify you so that you're not super, super sore. But we got to understand if you haven't really been doing anything, that sore is a part of the process, but we're going to help to break that down and help you understand it. Get your foot in the door, five days for five bucks. Now, if you're a member and you're like, oh, I don't know if I should do another belly burn, but maybe your nutrition hasn't been monitored so closely and maybe things are sliding. Okay. And this happens to us all it happens to me, it happens to Jerome. It happens to Neri where our nutrition starts to slide. Summer gets busy. Then we have, we're back to fall. Kids are back to school. We're back to events. Next thing you know, it's Christmas. And next thing you know, things are just, <laughs> they've gotten out of control. You've been maintaining your workouts, but your nutrition is the toughest part. You haven't been monitoring. You haven't been tracking. You haven't been putting yourself on a disciplined plan. Then, just let us know. We got your back. As long as us coaches have the availability to get you in, we will get you in, okay? But my recommendation is a lot of coaches do get full, and so make sure you contact them early and just set yourself up. Even if you do one every second belly burn, I think that that's a great way just to get yourself in check and put yourself in a 28-day 
nutrition boot camp that we have in the belly room. But if you're a non-member, you're watching this video and you're supporting us, give the video a like, visit www.fitclub.fit and mention the five days and we'll get you started.